Hey everybody, it's Dr. Weirich here, and I am beyond excited to have my good friend, Dr. Paul Baratero, join me for a video this evening. Paul, how are you? Good, how are you doing? <laughs> doing really, really well. Uh, Paul is in the, uh, the state south of me. Uh, you, live in, you live in Lehigh, right? Yep. So, well, welcome to Idaho, kind of. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Awesome. So Paul is actually the founder and CEO of Synergy Science. A lot of you have heard me talk about hydrogen water. You've read the articles that I've written for Paul. And uh, you may have even seen some of the videos. Um, but I wanted you all to be able to hear, can I say it this way, St straight out of the horse's mouth? <laughs> um, sure. <laughs> yeah. We want to talk about um, why. Why is hydrogen so important? Why is this completely overlooked in the health community? Why is it so simple? Why? Well, I would say the three, the 30 second answer or the three reasons are number one, a reduction of oxidative stress and inflammation. And why is that so important? Oxidative stress and inflammation is the leading cause of disease. We're not picking on any one disease. The leading cause of all disease is oxidative stress and inflammation. So this is why it's critical to reduce oxidative stress and inflammation, and hydrogen does this extremely well. Number two is a lot of people want energy. Mitochondrial function is how we get energy, ATP. And so there is a ROS or what's called a reactive oxygen species of, of a free radical in the body called a hydroxyl radical that is produced when people can't produce enough ATP and so they start craving sugar. Hydrogen stops the production of hydroxyl radicals so that your mitochondrial function can be efficient so you'll have proper energy. And from a neuroprotective perspective, I know this is near and dear to your heart, a neuroprotective from brain function or cognitive function Hydrogen will stimulate ghrelin secretions and will increase your brain function or cognitive function. So these are the three reasons for hydrogen. And then I would say that the water coming out of the machine that I developed, our, our Echo branded machines, also repairs gut. And so when we talk about immune function, immune function is the most important thing any of us should be focused on right now, especially, but in life, Immune function is everything because that is how your body protects itself against invasion of any kind. So because of the electrical potential in the water coming out of our machine, we stimulate anaerobic microflora. We change the, the terrain and the biome so that the gut is functioning the way it's supposed to. So what are we're saying prevention of pathology because of reduction of oxidative stress and inflammation, a increase of energy which most everybody wants a neuroprotective or a increase of brain function and then finally gut which is immune function so these are all the things most people are looking for if you uh i kind of had one of those mind melds the other day uh, i looked on uh the cdc's website just looking at statistics and i looked at the top 10 reasons, uh, the top 10 leading causes of death in the United States. And the most recent they had, it was 2017 or 2018, but it's very, very recent. And I was looking at all uh, that, that top 10 list. It's on my other computer. I would just bring it up and we'd read the list. But it was um, heart disease, cancer, accidents were the top three. Then it got into um, respiratory ailments, uh, I, I, I'm brain lapsing. I'm, um, the flu was in there. Hmm, yeah. Even though there's a flu vaccine, it's still not one of the top killers in the United States. Explain that one to me. Just kidding. Right. Don't, not on this video. <laughs> um, but number 10 was actually suicide. And the, the point that I was trying to get across from that list was that the number one killer in the United States is not heart disease. It's oxidative stress. Right. Because eight of 10 of those particular causes are diseases of oxidative stress. And I can make a dang strong argument that suicide, you can put that right in there with it because 
of depression. Right. Which is gut issues, which is, which is a, gut stress. issues, which is oxidative stress, which is neural protection, which is yeah. yeah. Just makes the hair on my arm stand up is what it does. Okay. Right. Right. So another thing I think we need to point out is this whole thing about the, your your gut um, and your micro your microbiome. People need to understand that is seventy percent of your immune system. Seventy. Right. So where does your immune response start? In the gut. Gut associated lymphoid tissue and lung associated lymphoid tissue. Yep. And hydrogen can absolutely- and, and food food cravings, you know, anxiety, depression, all that comes. That I don't know that everyone understands how much you are your gut. Uh, whatever your gut is doing and whatever the state of your gut is influences you more than you than you think they call it the second brain for a reason but you know the reality is if we keep our gut healthy and what does that really mean we we talk about the gut all the time many many doctors all over talk about gut but what are we really really talking we're talking about the bacteria the right. actual bacteria in the gut that's what would make gut healthy or unhealthy is the bacteria that resides there and, and the way to affect which bacteria whether it's aerobic or anaerobic microflora is all about the electrical potential of the tissue itself in the gut lining so <clears throat> we know if we get the tissue itself to a negative 300 negative 400 millivolts then we know anaerobic microflora will selectively be stimulated there. And so because they will have appropriate home, they right. will come and want to live there. So that's one of the aspects of the water is it has a negative 450 millivolts of electrical potential so that it can change the gut and it can do the things that it, it needs to do yeah. to increase immune function. That's, that's awesome. So, the scenario that we typically see are people will show up into my office with some sort of ailment, uh, some sort of autoimmune disease, some sort of something. And typically what's happened is, you know, people are on the standard American diet. So they're eating foods that are high in sugar, high refined carbohydrates, high exposure to pesticides, chemicals, and then a long, long history of antibiotic use. Right. So what you're saying is if we can change the electrical potential in the gut, well, let me back up even more. When you use an antibiotic, you wipe out those anaerobic flora, and then it creates an environment for the most opportunistic flora to come along whatever's next, which is typically something that's not supposed to be there, like a Staph aureus, for example. Um, and by changing, the negative, by changing the electrical potential in the gut with the water, we're creating an environment to allow those anaerobic bacteria come back correct and well we yeah it's because they have an environment that supports them instead of aerobic yeah <laughs> that's just that's awesome uh so when those anaerobic microbe are healthy part of their natural biochemical process is they're going to give off hydrogen gas right how and much they, well 10 to 12 liters a day through three meals right as long as as long as you have the right bacteria and you have fiber you're eating fiber rich foods or foods with fiber in them and then also foods that are broken down into short chain fatty acids medium chain fatty acids that's the stuff they like awesome so one of the things that i get all the time and maybe you can help clear this up for me so i can educate people is when I talk to people about hydrogen water or hydrogen hydrogen enriched water, they either get the glassed over, I don't know what you're talking about look, or they think hydrogen peroxide or H3O, they try to do the chemistry in their head, but it's much more simple than that. Yeah, H2O2 would be peroxide, yeah. it. So H2 gas, is what we're dissolving into H2O liquid. So no, it's, it's like a soda, right? You have carbon dioxide gas being dissolved into sugar water. That's a soda and add some color and add some salt and add some other mm -hmm. stuff and you got a soda. But the reality is 
we are taking water, H2O, which is a liquid, and we are dissolving H2 gas. That can be called diatomic hydrogen, that can be called molecular hydrogen, but that's what we're doing. We're, we're dissolving a gas into water. When you drink that, the first thing that happens when it hits the stomach is you are stimulating ghrelin secretions to go to the brain, to the hippocampus, hypothalamus, and brainstem. And we could literally spend 10 hours talking about all the things that ghrelin does. Because you're talking circadian rhythm, you're talking about dopamine, you're talking about the pleasure center, you're talking about just pure cognitive function and increasing motor skills. And I mean, just on and on and on it goes. Ghrelin is, is therapeutic to every organ and necessary for every organ in the body. And the lack of ghrelin can end up with ADD, ADHD, autism. That's what they're seeing a lot of is a lack of ghrelin secretions, especially in young males that will lead to autism. So this again, gut issues, cause you're supposed to produce ghrelin in the gut and then the stomach. But this is the first thing that would happen when it hits the stomach is ghrelin. The second, as it goes down into the gut, you would change gut tissue and then you would absorb hydrogen into the body through the epithelial tissue of the gut. And then really hydrogen doesn't do a lot. Hydrogen is a great signal modulator. So it just gives direction for all these functions in the body to work correctly, whether it's enzyme actions or what have you. But hydrogen itself doesn't do a whole lot. It just regulates a lot of things. And so it's a great, great thing. And it's necessary in our body. And so, again, we were created to make hydrogen, 10 to 12 liters of gas per day. And that's what we call farting, right? Flatulence. But that's, that's the reality. And I always chuckle when people say, well, I never fart. And I'm like, well, that's not good. You, you shouldn't be bragging about that. Because you sh if you were fermenting food properly, just like fermenting kombucha, you would make hydrogen gas. You would make gases when you're fermenting stuff. And, and with these bacteria in the gut, you should be producing gas. And so I'm very proud to say I have gas, right? So I have flatulence. Um, and depending on the food you eat, sometimes more than others. But the, the reality is you should have that. Uh, and that's, that's the, the deal. But this is a natural process. This is, this is how oxidation was regulated in the body. This is how enzyme actions are regulated. This is how a lot of, there's over 200 biomolecules that are regulated by hydrogen gas. So these, these are great, great things. Absolutely. So let's, um, let's loop it back and, and just keep it, um, go back to the simple principles here. I, when you drink hydrogen water, we talked about the number one thing that happens is you're going to re reduce your oxidative stress. Now, mm -hmm. oxidative stress is sneaky because it's not something that you feel overnight. <laughs> the right. diseases of oxidative stress sneak up on you. Yeah. So don't expect a pound of a glass of hydrogen water and go and run a marathon when you have never run a marathon before. It's not going to be like that. But you can run longer and than you would normally, but not a marathon. <laughs> I um, I have a group of guys that I ride my bicycle with every Saturday morning, and uh, they're they're getting an earful now because that's what my water bottles are always full of. Uh, have you have you noticed differences? Oh yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, it's uh, I, when I work out, I don't want anything else. Yeah. Well, the fatigue should be less, and just your explosiveness or your your muscles themselves because they're not fatiguing and you're not having lactate buildup you can use them longer uh yeah it's, it's great i was on the phone with athletes the last two days talking about it but that's great yeah that's awesome so that takes us to number two one of the things that you will feel sooner rather than later is the increased energy because your mitochondria is not being tied down with the hydroxyl radical, which I want to point out, the hydroxyl radical is really only found in the mitochondria. Uh, and hydrogen has been called a selective antioxidant in the papers that I've read mm -hmm. because it takes this hydroxyl radical out of the mitochondria so you can feel increased energy. So mm -hmm. I've heard you talk before, and I think you and I've had discussions before about people who are actually hydrogen deficient um, that will feel an instant difference. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's interesting. 
Uh, the neuroprotective thing, there are people that do feel like their mind is clearer as soon as they start drinking this stuff. For sure. And there are documented cases of things like autism, ADD, et cetera, where behavior improves almost instantly when drinking this stuff. Right. And then lastly, even, the, even, yeah. even people with tremors, I've seen them within 10 minutes be on um, their hands almost still. That's huge. And, and they'll say, I feel tingling in my brain. Yeah. Cause that blood flow is starting to be restored. Mm -hmm. That's just, well, you know why I got into this. <laughs> so um, as far as these machines go, I do, um, you know, I, I've told my patients and my people know that I have one here in my home. I have one in my office and I welcome them to please come use it. Uh, yeah. But I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video uh, where they can go and they can, um, they can visit Synergy Sciences page and get more information on these machines. So I'll make sure yeah. I leave it there. Yeah, and keep in mind, there are vast and distinct differences between the machine that I developed and all of the other machines that are trying to ride our coattails. I started this industry, I developed the industry, and we have the only true hydrogen machine in the world. There's a ton of knockoffs, there's a ton of companies that are trying to um, pretend that they're a hydrogen machine, but the, the differences between our machine is all in the way the water goes through the hydrogen module. So we don't change pH. All the other products on the market, most of them change pH. They're really an alkaline water machine, which is not, uh, that's, that's it. And, and they call it a hydrogen because of my lecturing and my work. So the, the truth is, for example, we have two water sources that go into our hydrogen module. One of them is used to separate the water molecules into H2 gas and O. Then there's a second stream of water that actually combines with the hydrogen gas that never touched an electrode ever. So A, there's no way for there ever to be scale buildup, and B, there's no way to get toxic metals into your body. The other alkaline water machines, when they wear out and their electrodes wear out, there's a layer, two layers of platinum on it, but it's titanium base metal. So you can end up getting titanium nanoparticles in your body, which is very toxic for, for the human body and can cause cancer. So the reality is in our hydrogen module, the water never even touches the cathode, for instance, the, the electrode. And water never touches it in the first place. But when we produce the hydrogen gas, we're pushing the hydrogen gas out of the module and there's another stream of water that's coming by and dissolving the hydrogen gas. And then we run it through a dissolving chamber in the module. So our, our hydrogen production module is proprietary. It, it, no one else has it in the world and there's nothing else in the world, anything like it. Right. Even though there's all these companies that say they, and, and it's when you don't know what you're doing and it's a new product, a lot of companies can say a lot of things, but it's not true. Right. No one else, no one else will guarantee that you always have hydrogen day in, day out for the, for the time you have the machine. No one will guarantee you that because the reality is alkaline water machines within two to four weeks, maximum six weeks of use, you will not have hydrogen gas dissolved anymore unless you clean that machine with citric acid or lemon vinegar. And this is a major major issue because nobody wants to clean machines constantly not when you can buy a machine like ours where you don't have to do that constant maintenance and you'll have hydrogen all the time so the there are vast differences between the way our machine functions and the way other products that they're calling hydrogen water machines so don't get tricked up by nonsense marketing and don't get tricked up by you know something that's a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars we, it costs us more than that to make our hydrogen module, and that's one component of the machine. Right, right. So the reality is, yes, we have financing for those that can't uh, afford the, the price of the machine, but most people can if they really understand it because you're talking about your health. You're talking about an investment in your family, your children, your future, your animals, pets, and this is something that you do every day of your life. You drink water, or you should be, and this is what... 75% of your body is made up of is water. So it is critical 
to your creation, you as a creation, it's critical to you. And <clears throat> trying to find a cheap product on Amazon that isn't going to accomplish the same thing is not a good answer. You know, you, 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 you don't want to do that. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Um, and really, if you look, if you take a deep dive into these machines and look at the, the filtering capability they have, I think the filter alone is worth it. Um, you know, for, yeah. my, for my home here, everything to the east of us up in the foothills is farmland. Yeah. And guess what they're going to be using on that farmland? Pesticides. Pesticides. Guess what gets into my drinking water? Right. Well, when it comes out of the hydrogen machine, guess what it doesn't have anymore? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, we've had testing on glyphosate. That's the big one everyone should not be consuming. And we, we remove glyphosate to a non-detectable level. Lead, arsenic, heavy metals, Absolutely. chlorine, I mean, all these kind of things. We don't, they don't go through our filter. So, and, and we actually have a reverse osmosis system now that, is a tankless RO system. So that is even deeper filtration. And we have a hydrogen server that can go with that. So the RO system that we have will produce 1.2 liters a minute of reverse osmosis water. Then you combine that with the hydrogen, the Echo H2 server, and now you have reverse osmosis with hydrogen. And that's the perfect combination. It really is. Yeah, to have fluoride gone and all these kind of things. Yeah. And not to mention, it tastes great. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you take all that junk out and you're just drinking pure water. Right. It's quite astounding. I love that when my, when my kids are here, they ask for it. It just makes me happy. <laughs> uh, yeah. One of the things that we haven't touched on that you and I have discussed in the past is um, hydrogen being the... Um, it can actually help you absorb your food better. So you're going to get your nutrients out of your food better. And it's going to help your supplements do their job. Your medications do their job better. Yep. So we could go on and on. But yeah, I mean, it's all about your gut, right? That's assimilation. That's digestion. That's everything. So having your gut perform. And, and honestly, for instance, most probiotics and other things, if you're not properly hydrated, you're, you're not going to take in the supplements in the first place and you're not definitely not going to have any probiotics working if you're not properly hydrated and so you can't eliminate appropriately toxins out of your body unless you're properly hydrated so being hydrated appropriately is the most important and unfortunately not all water will hydrate you because if there are plastics if there are chemicals if there are contaminants in water and you already have a toxic burden your body will not accept that water, it will route it right out of your body because it's too much of a burden to separate the contaminants that are in it. So drinking water that comes through a system like mine where you have no contaminants in it, that you've removed them, that's critical. Uh, and then on top of that, on top of the filtration, on top of the hydrogen, we have the Synergy Resonance Technology, which is combining Rife technology and homeopathy and other tinctures and other kinds of things that are energy medicine and putting it into a system where you can choose a formula for organs in your body, for premenstrual, for parasite elimination. Right. I mean, we, have, we, have, we literally have people that choose parasite elimination and an hour later they're eliminating parasites in the toilet. So this is, this is important. These are things that people didn't know you could do with a water machine, but being able to not only filter water, not only dissolve hydrogen gas, so you have all the benefits that are shown in the 700 studies, but also then having the ability to put frequencies in your water so that they can, that can help you is huge. Yeah, that's, we could go on and on. I laughed earlier when you said we could go on for 10 hours just about ghrelin. Yeah. I don't think we could keep it to 10 hours. <laughs> right. I think we could just keep going and going and going. Um, that's awesome. Any last parting thoughts, Paul? No, I appreciate you taking the time. I appreciate the opportunity to educate people. You know, if, if we didn't have gut issues, we wouldn't need this, but we do have gut issues. And at least 96%, 97% of the population, they have dysfunctioning guts. So therefore they have a dysfunctioning immune system. And so their body is struggling, working overtime, 
to protect them from foreign invasion. By having this system in their home, your immune system will increase naturally. This supports your body in increasing immune function. Your brain will be functioning appropriately. Your heart and veins and all kinds of things. So literally, literally, it's the simplest thing you could do to truly change your health and wellness for you and for your family for the rest of your life. And it, the cost is nothing when you talk about the rest of your life. Right. So, right. yeah. So I'm going to leave a link um, cool. that my people can see. And what they will notice, and I appreciate you doing this for us, Paul, when they go and they click on the link and they select what they want, when they go over to the shopping cart, right. they're going to notice a nice little discount. And that's, right. That's yeah. awesome. I can't thank you enough for that. That is so cool. Oh, yeah. um, so there'll be a nice little discount there. And all the information for financing is, is on there and it's super easy. So everything's there on the site, on the link. So I'll leave that in the comments below. Um, it's been a while since I've been to Lehigh. Uh, <laughs> I will look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Yeah, we're, we're living life here. We, we luckily can go and do whatever we want to do. But yeah, business is, business is crazy right now. You know, unfortunately, um, it's a tough situation for the country as a whole. But for us, the business has been very strong because people are learning because of this issue. People are learning how important it is to protect yourself from Wi-Fi, from EMFs, and how important it is to have your immune function yeah. high. And that's, you know, those are the two things we do. We protect people from EMFs and the radiation in those fields. And we have a water system that can improve your immune function. So they're very simple solutions, but they're, they're huge, huge, huge benefits for families. And that's what I'm about is protecting families. Absolutely. You know, people um, are going crazy right now. They're blaming this politician and that politician and this country and that country. At the end of the day, you know whose fault this is? It's our fault. Yeah. It's our own dang fault. Uh, but a lot of that is just because people just don't know how to take care of themselves and how simple it can be. Um, I, I don't mean to launch into another 15 minute tirade here, but Hydrogen really is that simple. It's yeah. the smallest, most simple element on the periodic table. It yeah. is a necessary element that your gut's not making anymore. Your, anyway, because of everything we've mentioned about. What I'm saying is, <laughs> follow the link. Feel free to ask me questions. Um, Paul, you're on my Facebook page. So when those questions pop up um, yeah. and I can't answer them, I'll chime you in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're a great friend man i really appreciate you and, thank you uh, i think we'll wrap this up for now and uh, i'll see you next time i see you thank you